Hey there, Jason Freed with Clam Outdoors. You know, walleye fishing a lot of times is about live bait. And as a fishing guide, tournament angler, there's really a good three-prong approach to live bait fishing. First one is a simple jig. You know, here I've got just a long shank gold jig here, six foot six rod, spinning reel. Great thing about jigging is it applies to so many different things. Aggressive fishing with snap jigging, you can drag jigs, you can swim jigs. Uh, you can pitch, do all different kinds of things. You can cast, you can long line. Super applicable, leeches, crawlers, minnows. But early in the season, you're gonna wanna have a jig tied up. And it, obviously, jigs catch walleyes year round. So pay attention to things like the size of the jig, the shank of the jig, the size of the minnow, uh, light jigs versus heavy jigs, they all are applicable depending on the depth you're fishing, the wind, speed, and all those different types of things. So that's number one. Number two has been around maybe as long as the jig, probably not as long, is a simple Lindy rig. Lindy rigs will catch fish year round. Once again, very universally, think about a weight with a snell and a hook. What's so, what's so over, you know, complicated about that? It's super simple and sometimes walleyes need simple. All right, the hook, the weight, the eighth ounce, a quarter ounce, a three eighths ounce, whatever you're using, but it doesn't have to be fancy. <clears throat> six six to a seven six rod, medium, extra fast action. And there, just put the bait in front of the fish. The leeches, crawlers, minnows, once again, very universal. You can fish them shallow, you can fish them deep, you can long line them, uh, and we'll catch fish year round just using Lindy rigs. So, second approach. now. This one oftentimes gets confused with slow, methodical fishing, and that's the bobber rig. Bobbers don't have to be that way. You can easily fan cast them, let the fish come to you, but what's becoming really popular about bobbers is power fishing, or they call it power forking. So with bobbers now, you can use your electronics to tell you where a fish at, cast to the fish like you would with a jig or a jigging wrap, but not nearly as aggressive as those. You can go ahead and dangle that leech in front of those walleye's faces, entice them into biting. If they don't bite, move on to the next pod, cast the bobber and leech right back out again. And sometimes you can catch a lot of really hungry walleye. So don't confuse bobber fishing with slow methodical fishing. It can be super aggressive. And when you think about walleye fishing, whether it's a jig, whether it's a lindy rig, whether it's a bobber, there's lots of ways you can catch walleyes. But when live bait comes, that three prong approach is the way to go.